do you need to put a PayPal button on your sales page to sell a simple digital product like an ebook? In this video, I'm gonna show you how. Hi, I'm Matt from Active Growth, and in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to use PayPal and put a PayPal Buy Now button on your sales page for a simple digital info product like an ebook. Now, there are a few downsides to using PayPal that I want to discuss up front so you know before you decide to use it as your payment gateway. The thing is that the way you would deliver your ebook or a simple info product like a, a ebook or PDF would be through PayPal's redirect link. And the thing is, is that PayPal's redirect link isn't automatic. It usually takes a few seconds before the customers get access to that link or before it automatically sends them to a thank you for purchasing or download page. So usually the way people get around this is they'll use a service like Sendow that will take care of that digital delivery for them, but that adds another monthly subscription fee you have to pay to take care of that. Also, if you're selling to customers in the EU, PayPal doesn't handle the VAT or value added tax for you. So you'll need a solution like Sendow to take care of that for you. With that said, let's just look at how to put a PayPal Buy Now button on your WordPress website. So here we are on the PayPal homepage. And of course, the first thing you need to do is sign up for a personal account and then upgrade it to a business account because that will actually allow you to accept payments and set up those buy buttons on your ebook sales page. Okay, so assuming you have gone through the steps to set up your business account, now here's how we add a simple buy button to your ebook sales page. You come into your biz the business side of your PayPal account, you find this payment setup option, and then what we're gonna do is come down to option B, add HTML buttons to the website yourself, click on that, and then we just come down and create a payment button. And then click create new button. And now you can choose what type of PayPal button you want to add. We're selling a simple ebook, so the buy now button is what we want. Once the create PayPal payment button form loads, you're simply just gonna walk through each step to get that buy button made. So in step one, we just choose the button type like we did, buy now. Then we can enter in a product and item name. My example product is gonna be an Acro Yoga Fundamentals ebook, so I'll just call it that. And then you can give it an item ID. So this is just for your record, so I'll say 1001. I'm gonna give it a price, which you can set. I'll say $27.99, select your currency. And this customize the button isn't really too important here. If you were selling a physical product like t-shirts and you had small, medium, large sizes, you could create these drop-down menus and modify them to reflect that. You can customize the texture, the appearance of the button, maybe use a smaller button or display the credit card logos. You see this customer view as kind of a preview of how you're modifying the button. But essentially the default options are pretty good and most people understand what a PayPal button is. So you're good with the default settings. We're selling an ebook, so shipping won't be involved here, but if you were selling a physical product, you could add it. And then if you need to add in tax rate, it's nice that in the default settings of PayPal, they allow you to enter that percentage if you want to collect it. And then you can select to actually use your secure merchant ID or your email address of your PayPal account. Step two isn't important for selling an ebook. Just go with the default save button at PayPal option. Because it's a digital product, we don't need to track the inventory or be fancy, track the profit losses. If you just want to get this button set up, go ahead and keep the defaults and move on to step three. For step three, you're actually customizing the checkout pages. So this is pretty important. First, you want to let the customer change order quantities. Since it's an ebook, I would say no. 
can your customer add special instructions in a message to you? I'd also say no, there's no special delivery instructions needed for that. Do you need your customer's shipping address? No, it's an ebook. Now, when you get to these URL redirect features, this is pretty important. The first one is actually super cool. It's an option to take customers to a URL if they cancel their checkout order. And the way you can use this is you can downsell the ebooks if somebody cancels the checkout process halfway through. So you could create a page that basically sells the ebook at a discounted price to try and recapture the sale if they leave before purchasing. If you don't know what downselling is, I'll include a link in the description below to a, a blog article Shane wrote about this that is great to learn about that so the next feature the take customers to a url when they finish checkout this is super important and you definitely want to use it that's because you're going to use this url as a page to thank them for the purchase and give them a download button so they can instantly access your ebook this method of delivering the ebook isn't foolproof because of course people can share the url when um, with others but I don't think you really have to worry about that when you're just starting out trying to make your first sales. When your ebook becomes super popular and then maybe people do want to try and pirate it, then you can have, you'll have the money to actually buy a more secure digital delivery service or membership plugin. But for now, this is just a simple way to get a PayPal button on your website that I think is sufficient. So let's just add a purchase confirmation page. I've built a simple one that's just like, thank you for your purchase, download the ebook. I'll copy that URL and then I'll add it to the PayPal checkout button and then create the button. So now PayPal has generated some HTML code for us as, as well as an email link that we can use to actually get our button up and running. There's two methods you can use to embed the PayPal button on your sales page, and I'm going to show you how to do that right now. The first method is pretty simple. All I'm going to do is copy the HTML code PayPal generated for me, and then go to a sales page template I loaded up through Thrive Architect. Go down to the first buy button, and what I'm going to do is instead of using a native button, I'm going to use an HTML custom element, drop it in here, and then paste the, the PayPal HTML code straight into that feature. And here's what we see instantly, the PayPal buy now button pops up. And then we can just use Thrive Architect to make that design a little more appealing or center it, whatever you wanna do. But essentially now you have a PayPal buy now button that would work to sell your ebook. The other option you have is you can come to the email link, copy that, and then if you're interested in keeping the same native design instead of a PayPal button, what you can do is come into Thrive Architect and then just use that link in your action and Go ahead and paste that link into Thrive Architect, apply, and now when someone clicks that buy button, it will take them to, to the PayPal purchase page. Okay, so let's save those and see how they work. Now we're in the preview mode for the sales page I set up, and let's just scroll down to the PayPal buttons I set up and see if when I click on them, it takes us to a PayPal purchase page. And indeed, it did take me to the purchase page. You can see that my price is there. The name of my product is there. That's working. The PayPal button is working. And if we go back and press on the Buy Now button, the Natively Design button, same thing. It takes us straight to the PayPal purchase. I'm not going to go through actually purchasing a product, but just know that if a product purchase goes through, we'll be redirected to our purchase confirmation window where people can be thanked and download the ebook. 
So with that, you can see it's very simple to get started selling your ebook with a PayPal button using one of these two methods. So that's how to put a PayPal buy now button on your website to sell something simple like an ebook. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below and I really hope you enjoyed this video.